As Genesis 6 verse 4 says, there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that. These are the mud fossils, remains of those giants, titans, nephilim, fallen angels, many cultures in our history's past had names and references to them. A large chapter of the Bible, the Book of Enoch, mentioned them and talked about them in great detail. Perhaps there's no coincidence why the Book of Enoch, among 14 other books, were removed from the Bible. wasn't just the people that were much, much larger back then. It was also the plants, the animals, and everything on this realm of ours. And you can see with these mud fossil remains, the cataclysmic event that covered them and turned them to stone in an instant. One of the most eye-opening and clear evidence of this massive past of our realm is in these giant felled world trees, dismissed as nothing more than lava plumes or some ancient volcanoes. But again, borrowing from the Bible, Daniel chapter four, verse 11, the trees grew large and strong, and its top touched the sky. It was visible to the ends of the earth. What a beautiful and majestic sight that truly must have been. But these are no trick of the eyes. No stories told by ancient past that are just fables. In fact, I believe the more we uncover of our true hidden past. Those fables and tall tales are much more than just fairy tale. Perhaps those are actually the true stories of our past, told to us as little children, so we dismiss any evidence of it as just fairy tale. We need to re-examine everything we've been taught, friends. Look at everything anew. Every mountain, every rock. They tell a far different story to this realm than we've been told. Maybe stories like the giant Paul Bunyan and Babe, his blue ox, with his old trusty axe, isn't just a fairy tale after all. Some of the great quotes I hear in the community. The rocks were alive, and indeed they were. It would be one thing if this was just a few images of a few rock faces that somewhat resembled faces or trees or other interesting anatomies. But this is realm wide. And it's more than just faces, like we see the faces in the clouds, or something like that. That is what I, they want us to think. They want us to dismiss it as nothing more than just a trick of the eyes. But look at more than it. Look at more than just what the rocks look like to us. Look at what the anatomy looks like to us. Far more than just faces you'll see in these next coming pictures.
you start looking at a comparison between the tissue and cells of limbic beings to some of these rock fragments found across our realm. It can become anything more than fact. Far more than just a few coincidences. Yet our eyes have a way of not seeing what's right in front of us. What's been hidden in plain sight all along. And a lot of it is to do with our teaching, our upbringing, the controllers of this realm telling us their versions of facts, their versions of history. But again, we must start looking at these things more clearly with a renewed vision, a new sense of purpose. Because the truth is out there. It's up to us to find it. To discover the true history of this realm of ours. <laughs> 